Hi guys, it's Steph here from The Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my September book haul. There are about 15 books in this book haul, most of which I received for review or as giveaways or prizes or things like that, and about half that I purchased for a very specific reason which I cannot yet reveal. Aside from the fact that I just really wanted to read them anyway, so that's the main reason, but there is a, another secret reason why some of these books are on my TBR. As always, I'm going to start with the books that I received for review first. Tales from the Inner City by Sean Tan. This is his new collection. It is a gorgeous hardcover book. And this is a collection of short stories that are about how animals and people interact and live in the city. And they're very whimsical, magical realism-esque, and very strange and ethereal like all of Sean Tan's work. So they're not quite your standard animal and people stories, but they are absolutely beautiful. And it is chock full of his gorgeous artwork as always. Tales from the Inner City is being released on September 26th. I also received What the Woods Keep by Katia de Becerra. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I did request this one. It is a young adult thriller story and that's about all I know about it. I'm very much looking forward to reading this very very soon. It does come out on the 26th of September so it's my goal to get it read this week. I also requested a copy of Have Sword Will Travel by Garth Nix and Sean Williams. This is coming out at the end of October so I probably won't be talking about it too long and I don't know all that much about it except it is a middle grade book and it is Garth Nix who I absolutely adore and I am looking forward to diving into this one a little bit closer to the release date. I also received a proof copy of Perfect 10 by Jacqueline Ward. This one was unsolicited and it, it looks like it's a thriller. Yes, it's an adult thriller and I haven't read one of those in a little while so I'm looking forward to getting around to reading this. The next two books I didn't have to pay for and I'll explain a little bit why. So the first one is a proof copy of Mirage by Samaya Dowd. Some of you may have seen that I've already talked about this because I have read it. It was the YA Room book pick for the month but I did receive a copy of this from Databook. I won one of their competitions on Facebook. It is the story of 17 year old Amani who is kidnapped before her 18th birthday and taken to the palace of the ruling family in on her planet because she is near identical to the crown princess or the heir to the throne and the princess is quite a vicious nasty piece of work but Amani is then forced to be her body double and there's a whole lot of adventure and things that go on. It is a really fun story. It is set in space, so it's science fiction and it is apparently the first book in a trilogy. And then when I went to VidCon earlier in the month, I went to the BookTuber networking session and Kat had organized for some publishers to send her some books that people could take. The one that I picked up was Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this and I'm very much looking forward to picking it up. I know it is young adult fantasy and I am very, very excited. Okay, so the rest of the books are ones that I purchased for myself for various reasons. The first one is And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness and illustrated by Ravina Kai. This is a Moby Dick retelling told from the perspective of the whales. And I heard Patrick Ness talk about this when he was out here in Australia recently and I was very intrigued by it. Now I've never read Moby Dick and I don't actually know the story of it. I'm still going to read this anyway and enjoy it and it is not a large book it is actually quite small but it is absolutely gorgeous and I've been really enjoying reading books in this format that are hardcover mostly illustrated stories in the vein of Sean Tan and you're going to see another one in a minute but I just think this is gorgeous and underneath it's even pretty too. So speaking of those beautiful hardcovers I have The Singing Bones by Sean Tan. I talked about this in a Books Beside My Bed video recently because this is a collection of excerpts from traditional tales and fairy tales and illustrated or accompanied by Sean Tan's sculpture work and it's a gorgeous little book. Each story is accompanied by a corresponding image. There's only excerpts and snippets so it's not the entire thing and it's a quick easy read. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful coffee table book. I love it. I also received my copy of Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. This is book three in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, which I absolutely love because they're fun, they're adventurous, they're funny and a little bit ridiculous. And I just, I can't wait to pick this one up and read it. I have to get to this soon because I just enjoy this series so much. Plus this is not only set on a ship, but it also has a carnival on the ship. And you know how I love my stories about carnivals. I also picked up Growing Up Aboriginal in Australia, edited by Anita Hess. Nice. Hess. This is an anthology with contributions by many different authors and it's really about 
growing up in Australia from diverse voices and I'm very much looking forward to reading it. I probably won't read it straight away. I might wait until the January holidays so that I can actually sit down and unpack this a lot more because I think it's going to be a very important read. But I wanted to pick it up because it is one that has been on my anticipated anticipated reads list. Likewise, I also picked up Meet Me at the Intersection, again, another anthology collection, and this is own voice poetry and short fiction by various authors. I'm only familiar with a few, not even a handful, a few less than a handful of the authors in this, so I'm very much looking forward to reading it and actually unpacking the stories and getting to know some new voices in Australian publication. So this one is edited by Rebecca Lim and Amberlynn Quaymelina. Amberlynn Quaymelina recently released Catching Telecrow, which I loved, but also the interrogation of Ashala Wolf and the rest of the books in that series, which I think is called the Tribe Trilogy, and that's fantastic as well. The last three books are all middle grade books. The first one is Jane Doe and the Cradle of All Worlds by Jeremy Lachlan. I remember hearing about this at an event last year, one of the publishing events where they were talking about books that were coming out in 2018, and I remember being very, very intrigued by this because it sort of sounds like Lara Croft-esque, and I'm all up for adventure middle grade books. I also picked up Arrow Shah and the end of time. Clearly the UK and Australia had the really dodgy covers because I know the US one is gorgeous and if I can find it I'll insert a picture of it. This one is sort of blah but it's okay because this is going to be part of that secret thing that I can't talk about. So I'm going to read it and then it's going to have a new home and I believe this is part of the Rick Riordan Presents series of books which focuses on different cultures and stories from those cultures so I'm very much looking forward to picking this one up. And then finally this was a total cover buyer I have no idea what it's about and it's called The Company of Eight by Harriet Whitehorn and I saw it on a display table at Dimmicks and thought oh that looks pretty because it looks like there are people doing trapeze things and I love carnivals so I picked it up. But this one actually says the circus boat has set sail taking with it Cass's dreams of becoming an acrobat. Desperately in need of a new adventure she jumps on board a boat bound for the mysterious island of women but nobody she meets on the voyage is quite what they seem. Is there anyone Cass can trust? That's all I know about it. So we'll see how I go. So those are all the books that I picked up in September. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books or if you're planning to read any of them. And let me know what was the book that you picked up in September that you're most excited to read. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.